Since Medicaid has such strict financial eligibility requirements, some may be tempted to simply gift away their assets until they meet the qualifications. In order to prevent this, Medicaid institutes a penalty period for individuals who have made any ineligible transfers known as divestments or gifts during the look back period, which is five years prior to the Medicaid application date. It's important for seniors and their advisors to be aware of this rule in order to avoid a penalty period of ineligibility. When applying for Medicaid, the applicant's finances will be examined to determine whether they've made any divestments during this look back period, which refers to the five year period prior to the application. If the applicant or their spouse made any ineligible transfers during this time, they will not be able to receive benefits for a certain period of time based upon the total amount divested. Unfortunately, many seniors may not be aware of this rule and could be divesting assets without realizing the consequence it may have on their long-term care needs. So what is considered a divestment? Generally speaking, it's a transfer of assets for less than fair market value. Many people refer to these transfers as gifts, which would include donating to a charity or giving away money or items to loved ones. Divestments also include transferring assets to an irrevocable trust or selling items for less than fair market value. Now moving on to the penalty period. This is the period of ineligibility a Medicaid applicant is subject to when they have made divestments during the five year look back period. The length of the penalty period is calculated based on the total amount of divested assets and the state specific divestment penalty divisor. The penalty period begins once the applicant is considered otherwise eligible for benefits. That is, they must meet all financial and non-financial qualifications for Medicaid apart from the ineligible transfer. During the penalty period, the applicant must private pay for their care. Although ineligible transfers can create a roadblock for Medicaid eligibility, the penalty period can also be used strategically in some Medicaid planning cases. For instance, one of our planning strategies for a single person known as the GIF and MCA plan uses a divestment to protect a portion of the applicant's assets and a Medicaid compliant annuity to cover their costs during that penalty period. Once the penalty period is complete, the individual becomes eligible for benefits and the gifted amount is saved for future generations. If you would like to learn more about the Medicaid penalty period and the effects it has on Medicaid eligibility, contact our office.